Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be doing a tournament recap. This past weekend, October 6th, I went to a Pokemon TCG League Challenge at Dork Den, which is in Mankato, Minnesota. So I'll summarize my results there and show the deck that I was using. For battle, I decided to use my Reshiram GX and Ho-Oh GX deck. Overall, I finished 2-1 and one and placed 4th. It was a pretty great day overall, and I have been a collector of Pokemon cards for many years, just now getting into the competitive scene and actually going to official events. So I'll jump to the online TCG now, and here is the exact deck that I brought to battle. As far as the general strategy goes, I have 3 copies of Reshiram GX, and the goal here is to start the game with Reshiram GX in the active Pokemon spot. Use Kiawe turn 1 to put 4 Fire Energy cards onto Reshiram. And then turn 2, use Vermilion GX to do 180 damage to the defending Pokemon. And then use something like Fiery Flint to get several Energy cards into your hand before using Vermilion GX. And then you can move those fire energy cards from your hand to a benched Ho-Oh GX. Once you have both Reshiram and Ho-Oh set up, you can pretty much stream one hit knockout Pokemon. And here's a look at the Ho-Oh GX from Burning Shadows. This is a Black Star promo. Phoenix Burn is the move to use on this card for four fire energy. It does 180 damage. As you can see, I use three Fiery Flint. This would be used for getting Fire Energy into my hand to accelerate with Reshiram GX. I do use a couple of Potown Stadium cards. This is to clear the field of something like Shrine of Punishment. And if you're facing something with more than 210 HP, this will whittle the HP down so you can knock it out in one attack. And then I use both Wishful Baton and Energy Recycler to make sure that I never run out of energy. I do have 14 Fire Energy in the deck. So round one in this league challenge was pretty brutal for me. I faced a Gardevoir GX Sylveon GX deck. And it was pretty much the worst possible matchup. We were playing best of three and I got slaughtered in two games. I think I was able to take two prize cards knocking out a Sylveon, but that was it. What my opponent did was they used Sylveon GX right away, used its Magical Ribbon attack to set up at least one Gardevoir GX on their bench. The problem with Gardevoir GX, as soon as I Kiawe and put four energy on one of my Pokemon, it essentially increases infinite force on Gardevoir by 130 damage. So all they had to do was get a couple more energy on Gardevoir GX and it could knock out both Ho-Oh and Reshiram GX relatively easy. Now when I first battled this person, this was actually the tournament director, I was hoping it wasn't a Sylveon GX stall deck, but in retrospect I definitely would have rather faced that deck. So they just rolled with Gardevoir GX the whole time and I really had no way to stop Gardevoir GX from doing major damage every single turn with infinite force. In both games that I played, they were able to get Eevee out in the active Pokemon spot to start the game, Magical Ribbon, and then just go right to Gardevoir GX. The second round of the League Challenge, I actually went 2-0 for the best of three. I actually dominated my opponent, and they were using a Rayquaza GX Vicavolt deck. Now, Rayquaza GX is very popular, and it is one of the best decks out there. It essentially accelerates Grass and Lightning type energy to Rayquaza GX, so Dragon Break can do major damage every single turn. I was lucky enough to be able to set up my Pokemon faster than they could attach energy cards to Rayquaza GX. So if they'd attach two or three energy cards to a Rayquaza, I would just Guzma that Rayquaza into the active Pokemon spot, and then I would either knock it out with either Ho-Oh or Reshiram. So it was an easy win there just because it took a while for them to get Vigavolt set up, and they could really never get enough energy on Rayquaza. Plus, I think every single one of their Stormy Winds attempts failed, which was a big victory for myself. And then I believe they did use Latias Prism Star in the deck 
to help speed up Rayquaza GX, but then they couldn't get any energy cards in the discard pile. So round two, an easy win over Rayquaza GX and Vicavolt. So that put me to one and one on the day, heading into the final round. In the final round, I faced a Buzzwall, Garbodor, and Shrine of Punishment deck. I actually was 2-1 against this deck, and I could have been 2-0. The second game came down to whoever had Guzma first. I was a little bit worried when I first started playing this Shrine of Punishment deck, not only because Shrine of Punishment will do damage to pretty much all of my attackers, but just because a lot of the moves in this deck that I'm using, you have to use the attack, Guzma, and then reset that attack. But luckily, I was able to stick with Reshiram GX and use its attack that burns the defending Pokemon for 110 damage. And then the next turn for my opponent, it automatically takes an additional 20 damage. So 130 damage would knock out things like Buzzwool and Garbodor. And then I did use Potown and as well as Field Blowers to get rid of Shrine of Punishment, as well as my opponent's Choice Bands. It was a pretty easy win, Game 1. Game 2 went down to the wire, both of us had one prize card left. And then Game 3 was an easy victory for me. Luckily, all my opponent could get out was a Diancie Prism Star. I actually gave my opponent two Mulligans. And then they had Cynthia in their hand their first turn as well. They could not get another bench Pokemon into place. So all they had was their active Pokemon. Turn two for myself, I went first. So Kiawe, I set Reshram GX up so it was ready to attack. And then I had Tapu Lele GX in the active Pokemon spot. All I needed to do was draw one Fire Energy card on Cynthia to be able to retreat Tapu Lele GX. Was able to do that, put Reshiram in, and won the game. I was very worried about the Garbodor from Guardians Rising. Trash Lanch does do 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. I believe I had 7 item cards in my discard pile, which was low enough not to be able to knock out a Pokemon in one turn. But then they did have Choice Spam, but luckily I was able to Field Blow those away. So when the tournament did conclude, I did go 2-1 overall, 3 total rounds. I placed 4th. Unfortunately, a couple of people that got 2nd tied, so their record was 2-0-1. So I could potentially have tied for 2nd, but then I did get 4th. So overall, I was very happy. I was debating whether to use my Malamar Necrozma GX deck, or this deck, the Reshram GX Ho-Oh GX. Overall, other than the bad matchup against Gardevoir GX, my deck was pretty dominant, I would say. Such a quick setup deck, and a powerful attacking one. And it is very strong against the Shrine of Punishment decks, with the attack on Reshram GX. That can do 130 damage every turn. It can knock out those one prize Pokemon in one turn. So there you have it. This is the first time I really tried to stream from the online TCG. I would love to do a face cam as well as online TCG battle videos in the future on my channel. I know someone on my Twitter page actually requested this type of video, so I hope they enjoy it. And if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, please let me know. And as always, I will do a deck review of my Reshram GX Ho-Oh GX deck in the future. And if you have any other deck review videos you'd like me to do, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.